All right, good morning, guys. Um, I've been having a project that I've been wanting to do uh, for a little bit now. Um, got limited space in the garage here. Uh, need some more surface area. So I'm gonna build a workbench, a woodworker's workbench. Um, found some plans on uh, Instructables. Um, I'll try to remember to throw down the guy's name here for credit. Um, and uh, anyway, we just gotta cut some pieces up. I got all the stuff here. It's mostly kind of chopped up anyway. Uh, I'll throw some things together. We'll speed lapse this, time lapse it, and uh, we'll see what we come up with here by the end of the day. So hang on, let's go. All right, the cross pieces have been routed. <coughs> um, we're looking to put this all through the rod in this gap here, um, sit on it, and tighten it up between the uprights. So the fuss about getting everything just so was um, the offset. They can't be, um, they can't in, in, uh, they're coming in at 90, so they can't both be in the same spot across that section. So had to offset it up and over just a little bit so they'll miss each other when they come across the leg. Um, so now we have those. Now we're going to drill the holes in our legs, our uprights. Um, then we can start assembly. So, moving along. Alright, as you can see, we get both ends done, short sides done. Now we're going to do the same thing on the middle. Use the long all thread on both pieces. Fill a couple more uh, dowel holes um, in the ends of the long horizontals. A little glue probably together. The impact we should be pretty solid on the base of that one. So, All right, there it is. Here's your uprights. Uh, everything's put together. It's all quite solid, just needs maybe a leveler on the bottom, but not too, too worried about it until things kind of settle down. Um, just a little bit of overhang on the thread on the side. So I added this, all these, to kind of be my second, third hands just to hold that on the, well, I was pulling it tight. So I'll just take a wet rag and wipe down any of the glue. Um, it's an eyesore. I know it's just a workbench, but uh, it's a lot easier to do it when it's wet uh, versus dry and then having to sand it. So. All right, the top is going to be uh, three layers, two MDF and one um, hardwood poplar um, uh, edge, edge glue, edge, um, edge glue top. So we have three layers, all three quarter inch, be very heavy uh, and then solid, uh, shouldn't flex any, so we should be good there. Um, <laughs> Um, 
but I just didn't want to pay the extra for the um, edge matched, edge glued um, oak or maple or something. Probably the maple, but uh, anyway, I got what I have. Uh, if it gets too bad, I can always put a piece of hardboard over the top, and that'll be fine. Uh, but for now, put myself a bench, real solid, real heavy. Uh, it'll do just fine. So thanks for watching this time lapse. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it shrunk down to uh, something that makes sense. Not too long, but anyway, now I just got to clean up. So thanks for watching. <laughs>